session today ahead of tomorrow night. How's, how's it all looking? Yeah, look, it's, uh, it was a really good session for our boys this morning. We, we met up, um, went through a few plans, and uh, the boys had a bit of a kick around. It's been a been a long build-up. We've been looking forward to this since uh, Christmas, so it's, um, it's going to be exciting tomorrow night, and uh, I can't wait to get out there. How's the squad looking for tomorrow night in terms of, of availability? Yeah, look, we've got um, we've got the odd niggle here and there, but it, look, it's, at this time of the year, we just don't want to take any risks, and um, we've got a really um, exciting group of uh, players out there tomorrow night, and uh, I think, yeah, especially our forward line, it's 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 really young, um, but those guys played a, f a fair bit of footy last year, and we're really excited to see what they can do. Can you run, can you run through the bigger names that won't be out there? Yeah, so um, Sean Higgins won't be playing, Robbie Tarrant, uh, Jack Zebel, Jared Pollock, uh, Ben Brown. Uh, it's pretty handy names there. Yeah, um, <laughs> but look, they all train pretty strongly um, during the week. Uh, they're building up really nicely. I think uh, they should time their run really well. Match did well in the intra club. Will he play tomorrow? Yeah, some really exciting news. So I'm, I'm, I'm really proud and um, happy to say that Madge will play uh, tomorrow night. And, it's, uh, it's going to be a, a really exciting time for him and his family and uh, for the club. Like, we're really pumped uh, for him and uh, look forward to seeing him out there in the number one again. What do you like what you've seen from him recently? Physically, he's obviously looking great. Yep. How's he, how, what have you liked most in this preseason from him? I think uh, the way Madge has gone about his footy since um, we returned for preseason, it's been, um, it's been a long journey for him. And he's really put his head down and, and stuck to his task and really re-educated himself on what it takes to be an AFL footballer. And he's, he's done that and he, he's built up really well. Um, he knows he's in for a tough battle with our back line. It's, uh, no one's given a game, so he's got to uh, perform. But um, we're really pleased with where he's at right now. So, How's that race going? There's yep. a lot of guys that are wanting to get those spots with Scotty Thompson yeah. and Madge back. How is it actually going? Yeah, we've, we've probably got eight, nine, ten blokes that could could fit into that seven, if you, if you like to put it like that. And um, I think it's whether they perform or not, it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting time for, for all those guys. And I think even, even if um, both other lines, uh, they're really, it's really challenging for positions and um, some game time. So that's what we want. We want competition in spots, and, and that's what this time of the year is all about. Is the back line now evolving more than any other line? Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, it's, uh, they're a newish group. To work, working together, there's some younger guys in there working in with the older crew, and um, with Madge back now, that, that adds another dyma dynamic as well. So, um, but they've been working really well together, and I've been really pleased with the way they've gone about it. Ben Brown's calf niggle. Could you just give us an update on how he's going? Yeah, he's um, he's doing some light kicking at the moment. Um, I think we get reassessed uh, tomorrow, so we'll we'll see what what happens there. But um, I'm really comfortable with where he's where he sits right now, and um, hopefully he's there around one. You mentioned Robbie Tarrant. Is he tracking for round one? Yeah, I, I just actually just saw Robbie. He's um, he's looking pretty good. He's uh, he he should be he should be righty. I'm I'm tipping he might play in the next couple of weeks as well. So um, I'm really comfortable with where he sits. There's a bit of a grey area there with Brownie's injury. I mean, you say you'll get reassessed. Do you sort of know exactly what it is? And, and oh yeah, no, we know it's a, we're a calf injury. But um, yeah, we're just looking at making sure we tick every box with that. And uh, Brownie's a very 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 valuable player for us. And and we just want to make sure we do it right. And um, we had a good conversation yesterday, and he's really comfortable. So, so am I. We know Madge is playing. Any other yeah. fresh faces you might see on oh, Bonner you, and these sort of guys? Yeah, you might have to wait and see. No, no, no. Bon, bon will play. Bon will play as well. Um, and Josh Walker will play. Yeah. Um, so, we're really pleased with their, where they sit. Um, they've done really well. They've integrated into our group really well. Um, Bond's putting his hand up. He knows there's, there's big competition as well um, in the midfield. We've got. A uh, really stacked group, so. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing Bond. He's he's really uh, done really well. He's fit into our group really well, so I'm, I'm pleased with him. What did you make of him last week in the intro? Yeah, I thought he I thought he did some pretty good things actually. Um, he's he's someone that's um, built up over the preseason. He, he'll I think he'll really um, like the competition against going against Oppo um, and actually getting a rotation too because uh, the, the midfield did some long long minutes in there um, in the intro club. Will Walker, is he going to play? Obviously resumed the training during the week. Uh, no, I think Will's a little bit off yet, but um, it's just good to see him back. Uh, he's, he's, he's had the longest stint of, of anyone and, um, on the sidelines, but he's, I'm really pleased to see him back and um, he'll get a couple of weeks 
of training under his belt and see how it goes. Just um, as well with the new concussion rules, I'm not sure if you're across them. Um, if, if you are, what are your thoughts on them? Do you think it's a positive step? Yeah, I only just read a little little snippet, so I haven't really um, read anything about it um, too much. But um, I think the way the AFL have been operating in that area, I think it's really important that um, we make sure that our players' um, welfare is at the forefront of their minds at all times. How's Eagles fitness tracking as well? Yeah, Zeebs looks good. I, um, I saw a couple of photos on our website. He looks fantastic from, from my point of view. He's he started training again last week as well, so um, I'm I'm really comfortable with, with where he sits. Tim and Pollock, though, that are the two yep. that will probably be in most or any doubt at all for round one out of the guys who've been out? Oh, I, do, I, don't, I don't think so. I'm really comfortable, as You're I both. keep saying. Yeah, all those five boys that we mentioned at the start, I, I'm, I'm pretty keen to see them um, get a game under their belt before the season starts. Just one more on Madge. Yep. If we saw him play those VFL games last year. Can you give us a picture of just how much he's developed from that time to, to now? Yeah, I, I, Madge did a lot of work to get to that point and um, maybe his body just wasn't ready for um, the rigours of, of football again. Um, I think he got through a few stages but he started to get those niggles and um, ultimately did his hamstring. So um, we worked really hard and the strength and conditioning team at um, Inside have done a fantastic job to get him where he is and, and now he's, he's had a clean run and um, now he's playing and that's, that's all we're worried about and then we're really pleased. Do you have to back him off the weights? He's a physical stress. I don't think he does too many weights, so <laughs> just to look like that would be amazing. <laughs>